It's pushed the point, and we're not doing it live. Um, <laughs> we're, we're doing... Wow! 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 We're... wow. Is... What can I say? Do we it's get true. like? Do we get a different trip for the live stream? Yeah, that... I've been my like, a game for the live stream audience. <laughs> so when it's all, yeah. you notice I'm already talking a lot more slowly because this it's is... not on TV. Yeah. So uh... <laughs> that's the way it is. This is true. Yeah. Oh. No, we're just doing a regular recorded podcast. Um, coming in your ears. Coming in your ears. Push the point episode 29. Oh, so... <laughs> oh, yeah, Crazy. Yeah, we don't, we're not meant to say the episode number. Hamish gets mad. Hamish at hates it. Dates so us. 20, it's every time, though. I'm just like, wow, so it. many episodes. I keep saying episodes. it. It makes the fucking. Can you believe we're nearly at 30 episodes, though, right? Oh, we're that's... almost at 30. We're, we're almost that. The. Guess what? The podcast is as old as I am now because I am also 29. Wow. So, uh, get out. There you How go. are you not 30 yet? I know. I'm 30 this year, but it will be a long, long time oh, before yeah. we can say that the podcast is the same age as either of you because you're in your like, late 40s or something. Oh, I don't really know. Oh, oh, like, hang on a minute. No, hang on. Like, you're talking, <laughs> speaking, speaking, of birth, <laughs> speaking of birthdays, I don't want to. Happy so, birthday. Thanks. Yeah, it was Hamish's birthday. Yesterday. And also one of our patrons as well. So that was cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we brought us free yeah. beer at the Pro Tour. Happy birthday. Yeah. We, we enjoyed that beer. That was great. We did enjoy that beer. <laughs> it was quite strong beer. It was <laughs> so, very strong beer. Made the draft very entertaining. <laughs> it was four cans of beer between six and eight yeah, percent. It went down we very did. well did with the get, draft. Did you get draft? And draft. Draft with the draft. Ah, it draft was with draft, hands yeah. with the draft, though. So, you know. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Happy birthday. I, fo- I followed him, uh, Mike. Is it? I can't. Mike. Oh, Mike Popovich. Popovich. That's it. I followed him on Twitter, and it seems like he is a bit of a brewer, as they say. From I've seen some of the. I don't know if he was making. Did he make his own beer? Did he oh, he's a it? mixologist. He, looks he like makes he, these uh, amazing makes cocktails, cocktails, right? Oh, yeah. Based around flesh and blood cards. Right. So, I can it's the we same do... guy. Always we... got to yeah. But yeah, they are incredible. You should check them out on Twitter. Can we'll you make a, a push the point handling. beer? Mike, can you do us a push? Can you do a push the point beer? You be... push the I don't point think cocktail. he makes beer. I think he makes cocktails. Oh, okay. Cocktail. I'll call it the push push the point cocktail. Yeah. Here's an idea. What's what's your favorite liqueur, guys? And maybe we, or favorite cocktail ingredient. Maybe we could like give some inspiration. I would say I, I really like tequila in a cocktail. So I would that's good like because I really like sour lemon. And yeah, I think that probably goes well together. <laughs> what do you want? What are you going to say to ruin it? Hey, Don't like, say your brain ruin. <laughs> what can I say that will ruin this drink? <laughs> I like Kit Kats. <laughs> 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 no. Oh. no, I mean, when you say in a liqueur, is it like can can rum or whiskey? Yeah, you know, yeah. Anything. something that's not beer. It's you know, I don't, yeah. I don't drink many cocktails. Well, it could be an ingredient, like something you 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 like uh, to have in a cocktail, not necessarily the the alcohol. But... Okay, well, yeah. I, whenever I, whenever I have a uh, kraken rum, spiced rum, yeah. I like to it's have. Choice, by the way. Yeah, thank you. Um, I like to have. Um, is it? Oh, I keep forgetting what it's called. Is it? It's not ginger, but it's. Is it ginger beer? Is it ginger beer? A ginger beer, or ginger, ginger beer ale, or yeah. ginger ale. Ginger, the ale I think is it's like. Ginger, I think it's ginger ale. Ale is much lighter, and ginger beer is usually cloudy yeah, and quite fiery. It, yeah, it's ginger ale. So I have a low calorie ginger ale in um in a kraken. Ooh, Canada dry, maybe. No, I have it with two ice. Is that what it? No, what dry you just say, you just say Canada dry, and <laughs> yeah, Hamish oh, just said, "No, I like it with ice." That was a great one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is why I'm here, just to just to draw attention to these like slightly mumbled jokes that happen. I was going to let him get away. With <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what does it oh. mean? What does dry mean? What does it mean? Canada dry is a brand of of ginger ale. Oh. Um, ginger ale goes down really well in can. They they just drink it all the time. It's like a soft drink. Well, yeah. okay. I thought oh, that's that's my that's my yeah. little. Ooh, that's a bit. So um, tequila, sour lemon, and ginger ale. That could be an interesting combo. Actually, I would give that a go. But go. whatever, whatever. Yeah. Well, um, oh, yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you my my birthday was spent um, actually drinking um, something we, me and my wife, we had an opportunity to do, which was lovely. Um, was for us to do things together rather than. It was rather than having you know a constant two kids to deal with. Yeah, so absolutely. Me and my wife privileged went for, moment. Yeah, it is. It was lovely, and we actually sat back and went. It's been 
too long since we've haven't done something together it's literally mm-hmm. almost been like two years so we went and had some brunch and then we played some star realms in the kitchen having some drinks just me and her it was lovely so um but the, but the queen decided to fucking muscle in on my birthday oh, the know. queen yeah. yeah god save her yeah. she's made it another year every just bloody about. time 10 years ago uh, it was oh it's my birthday and she was like oh, jubilee like, all right whatever i guess everyone doesn't yeah. give a shit anymore I enjoyed the Jubilee. Did you guys have any no, like street parties busy. there where you are? We had loads, like loads of roads closed around where I am. People doing street parties. Oh, I mean, shit. you live in London, right? So yeah, we got a lot of roads, um, so uh, we we got close. We didn't, yeah, we didn't like do you, anything Simon, with your dirt tracks. In not, not uh, <laughs> we didn't do. Yeah, exactly. In the Midlands, we don't have tarmac. I mean, um, what are you man. talking about? <laughs> um, all, all, we didn't do anything for the Jubilee. <laughs> We had a local, there was a local thing going on, but it was raining and it was pretty, uh, we had a friend of ours staying from Canada, so we were entertaining. It was, oh, yeah, okay. I did a big, I did, did a big roast beef instead. Right. Big it roast beef. It was amazing. Cool. Yeah. Good. Two, two and a half kilos of roast beef rib. It was amazing. Yeah. God that's save the of, queen. God save the beef, eh? You know, that's yeah. pretty legit, right? Um, we saw the flyover because we were in London, so the planes, you know, they fly over, over London Palace. So yeah. we that that also involves flying over all of us, um, which was pretty cool seeing them all up in the sky. Which yeah, is which I saw a big that thing. Seventy. That was pretty. That was pretty cool. impressive. The, typh- yeah. the typhoon formation seventy was pretty cool. Yeah, that was every single. Uh, military plane, I think we own. Uh, from this guy. So, uh, <laughs> jokes again. Yeah, I literally said I that joke. I thought I'd steal that before we got it in. But, uh, it was a good one. So take uh, it as a confidence. I, would... I do, yeah. Uh, I yeah. How much, do you know how much it costs to get one of those things flying? That uh, top and safety? I don't know. Like, oh, no, you're talking like thousands and thousands of pounds just so they can line up and make a giant 70 in the sky. I think I, I think it's worth it. it was, red arrows, mate, as well. They're legit. Yeah, the, uh, with the with the red, white, and blue. That's pretty cool. I, 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 we're I on the topic of fast jets. Has, have either of you seen Top Gun Maverick yet? By the way, no, I have not. Uh, I've, I'm sick of I've talking about this. I've not even seen this. the original Top Gun. What? Uh, what? Before my time, guys. Yeah, it was, before yeah, all it was of the year time. before I was born, but it was an amazing film. <laughs> I haven't Jeez, seen. I'm I haven't seen. Feisty about this. I haven't seen Maverick. Um, I kind of looked at it and went, uh, I think this is just going to be not top. Well, it's going to be, it's not going to be Top Gun because Top Gun is literally epitomizes the 80s so well of it's like super American, just like get on your bike, wispy hair and fight the baddie planes, you know, America's winning, blah, blah, blah. And I just thought, that's so 80s. What are they going to do in 2022? And I just thought, oh, they'll probably just get a really more actiony jet fighter movie and all right did you enjoy top gun i thought so. I, I usually don't like to watch old stuff but i for some reason i did enjoy top gun right. if you go and watch top gun maverick you will enjoy it yeah but it's the danger zone song it that is almost is what, no, that that was what did it i was pretty drunk when i was watching it and i was like danger zone i was loving yeah. it so what yeah. i'm saying is go and see top gun maverick and you will be just as pleased oh do they it play is, danger zone it, a perfect sequel to the film. It is done in completely the right spirit. You should, en- you would enjoy it. Go and see okay. it. Okay, right. It's looking at me like I'm spouting absolute rubbish. But we should move on from this um, unlicensed film review section of the Push to Point podcast. We always like to throw in a new segment. Now well, it's then. home news. Yeah, yeah home, news. home news. Home news. <laughs> home news. <laughs> oh, Christ. It's home Wait. Okay. I know what or I've is got. Was it home news? No. To- Oh shut up! Right, I'm getting some. Uh, let me. I forgot my beer. Wait there. Yeah, we got oh, a beer. No. You got it. Hamish has got a special birthday beer. Apparently, do we think? So... Do we think he's going to enjoy his special birthday beer more or I less mean, than uh, last he's week? Going to enjoy it more than the last one he wow. had. Yeah, that was that was a. <laughs> you could see the. Look it was on a his struggle face. watching him. I felt bad for him. Yeah, I mean, I've got. A... Oh, here we go. Ninety nine problems. Got beer in there. One. Oh, he it's has... a bottle. It's a large bottle. Right, Hamish. Oh no, I don't say this bit. Hamish, what are you drinking today? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Um, yeah. I have got a bottle of lager. It's bootlegger, 1974. Oh. There's no lager. It's a craft beer. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. It looks it's an nice. Interesting label yeah. on it as well. Yeah, 
It's the one, the Frankfurt International Trophy came gold in the Asia Beer Challenge. Well, and there you go. It's got, <laughs> it's got uh, social media logos all over it. So. Yeah, when you've had a gruler. Anyway, whatever. All right, Simon, what about you? What are you having? I am once again on call, but I did get a special beer that I can't drink for Hamish's birthday in memory <laughs> of last week's stout experience. <laughs> the I cards. have something called a Dark Arts Imperial, uh, sorry, Surreal Stout from a very lovely brewery called Magic Rock Brewery from Huddersfield in, in Yorkshire. Okay. So okay. if anyone's come across Magic Rock Brewery, they're, they're quite well known for stronger beers. This is a 6% Surreal Stout, a play on Imperial Stout. Uh, and that, that um, I very truly, much look forward to drinking that tomorrow. That sounds truly disgusting. What about you, Wild well, Car Trip of the of the of the chiseled chin yeah that's what they call me um i also wow. have a stout uh oh, yes i thought i would uh always on, on the same page and oh. also it's very apt for flesh and blood because it is a dragon stout oh wow, wow. it's a, an original jamaican dragon stout has come all the way from jamaica and this one actually has uh was brewed and bottled in jamaica uh, I've never had it before, but I went to the corner shop and I was like, I was just going to pick the thing that's the most to do with the new set. Uh, and I saw there was a dragon stout, so I thought, I'll get that. It's also 7.5%, so this wow. could be an interesting one. So the, I think some some general knowledge, beer knowledge, uh, the reason stouts are so popular in um, places that maybe used to be colonies, the Caribbean and India, um, is because they used to ship Guinness out from Ireland uh, and it it was one of the only beers that would actually make the journey quite well, and it would get a bit stronger as it went. Right. So the, the that is a good fact. That's a good the fact. love the love the love for strong dark beers um, around the world probably comes from that. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's you go. that is a we should we should have a a beer fact every episode. Simon. Just, uh, and, sorry, it. and by Guinness, I mean the original Guinness stout, not not this nitro nitrogenized. Yeah, one. not this. Yeah. Right, cheers, chaps. Cheers. Mm. So I don't, I don't think we've well, to talk about this, this week, good. have we? Mm. Really? Um, um, I don't think not... there's much been going on. No, no nothing I much mean, been going on. Apart from Chain looking like he's going to be a legend, legend. Um, he's a couple short now, isn't he? I think he was only three games off or three wins off. He's got to have made it over the weekend, right? If he doesn't, um, I would laugh. But I know he, <laughs> he, won, won, he, won, he, he won one of the Scottish ones in our country. Yeah, so that's true. Oh, he's, he's, he's definitely. But I love it if he only won two, and he's like one off, and there's none oh, left. And he's like, he's wait still for the rise here. of Briar. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty interesting. Apart from that, um, yeah, nothing really. I mean, nothing we would know. We didn't get a spoiler. Spoiler free podcast. Yeah, spoiler free podcast. Yeah, yeah. So we you know, we we've been following along, but uh we didn't get a spoiler, but we've been watching other people's spoilers. Oh, probably. it's the uprising. Oh yeah. I um, thought you were gonna mention about how I got second place at ProQuest, but oh, I thought sorry. that was Oh sorry. Is it, yeah, no, I don't no, know how no. else I meant to shoehorn that in, so I thought it just broke <laughs> it in oh, Because oh, I get trip, the impression trip. we're going to move on quite quickly, so I just want to throw that out there now. Okay, so trip, trip, trip. What, what get? What event was it? No, what, what was it? It was the. It was Batman Cafe. So I was trip? playing Starvo. Yeah. And uh, came second, so there you I go. got a gold foil say. somehow. Don't know how that happened, but did you play the final or did you? No, split the final? we did not <laughs> play the final. <laughs> uh, but I did get a gold foil, so that was pretty cool. Got a Mage Master Boots gold foil. Oh, so. lovely! It's probably my highest placement at a tournament in quite a while, a long time. Very nicely so done, pretty... sir. Very yeah. nicely done. Starvo is very broken. Um, just yeah. in case you were wondering, <laughs> he's he's now got more living legend. He's he's past living legends, and he's got more points than probably ten other heroes. He's got like fifteen hundred or something, right? It's, like, it's, it's I think more important yes, to say is um, there was a hero that got their first living legend points over the weekend. Oh, oh that that's true. Yeah, and Levia, uh, cheers. cheers, Levia. Well done. Well done. Congrats to. Yeah, so Levia got their first living legend points, and then Mansant also won a tournament at the weekend as well. Oh, so got even more. Points. So wow. that's pretty pretty sweet. So well done to the 
I think it's the League of Levia. I think that's what they go by. League oh, of Levia. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah, that's good. Congratulations to any members of the League of Levia. <laughs> just while we're just while we're talking about um, stuff, ran general general knowledge. I just want to hype up our Patreons, by the way, oh, and say please uh, like and subscribe YouTube. But again, if you love us as a channel, go and check out our Patreon because this week people, our Patreons, have been receiving their fantastic. Herald of Rebirth in the post, um, complete with push the point packing tape that Hamish has sourced. Mm -hmm. Um, so and a kind thank message, you and, and a, a very hand kind signed, message, push hand the point signed card by Hamish. <laughs> um, thank you very much to our patrons for believing in us and motivating us to carry on, do what we do. And I hope you all enjoy your promo Heralds of Rebirth because yeah, it's been it. it's been really good. And if you are a patron, we have a, a Discord which is which has actually been really fun recently because we've just been yeah. like talk, chatting about the spoilers together, chatting about everything. Really, actually, it's been pretty decent. So uh, yeah. thanks to 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 all of our patrons for making that fun place to hang out. I uh, go on there a lot. So yeah. Do we? We've also got three play mats, which we are also going to be raffling it out to the patrons. Um, we do. I, I said last two weeks ago, are we going to do a raffle? Why don't you stay tuned until the end of the episode when Hamish will have sorted out a wheel of fortune to do a raffle? Yeah. For the or we week. could, or we could give them another week to join as patrons. No, we're gonna let's do the first <laughs> one. Let's do, do the first one. one. Yeah, we're gonna do one. Do one. Gonna, um, yeah, gonna, this is a warning shot, right? I'm gonna a warning shot. Yeah, the end of the episode. Shot. So I'm, we're gonna do one. We're gonna do. We're gonna do a giveaway. Should tonight. we do the Doomsday we're, one? No, talking about no, Levia. So, talking about Levia in uh, memory of her first living legend points. We should do Doomsday. All right, fine. We're doing Doomsday, everyone. Right. Okay. So could have done this. Before we sent we currently have 16, 16 patreons <laughs> and uh, one of them is going to receive a doomsday map yeah yeah well, well yeah so we're going to do that tonight. and then we live on the edge we push the point yeah, we, we, just... like, we, do, we don't we don't just meet up every monday figure out what we're going to do for the next two uh, for this moment and then not see each if other there's ever been a giveaway on push the point i just want everyone to know that it's because Hamish suddenly decides that there's going to be a giveaway, <laughs> and then we just do it. So uh, I don't think we've ever planned anything before. No, uh, it's just bam, let's do it. We're very spontaneous. Yeah, we like to that's live in the I, moment. That's because Maybe I've that's got all this. I've got all this stuff, and I just go sod it. I think we can do it tonight. It's been my birthday. I've got loads of birthday money, so pack it up. postage won't be a problem. Um, <laughs> I'll do that. Um, right. So that's coming up at the end of the episode. However, I think. We obviously do have some spoilers to talk about because Uprising spoilers started oh. the day before your birthday, Hamish. It did. It did. It didn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't bitter. In fact, actually, to be honest, the whole thing has been um, massively exciting. Um, I have. I have been really enjoying it. Um, it's been quite. A, it's been really nice. It's that moment, right? I think you guys know this moment. I think the guy, the listeners of this podcast, will also know this moment of waking up. And grabbing your phone and having a little look yeah. and going, oh, is there any spo is there been some midnight spoilers? And it is joy to just go, oh my God. And then Faye's like, what are you doing? I'm just like, why are you up so early? I'm like, I'm so awake. I love the spoilers. 5 a.m. I know. I just remembered when it was the Monarch days when Freya was a little baby. And it was yeah. two in the morning and she was, uh, and I'm like, what's getting me through the night? Spoilers, baby. Here we go. I, I genuinely that. wake up at 6 a.m. Yeah. Every day during spoiler season, and I don't intend to. It's Just... like my subconscious is like, wake up, check spoilers. Yes. Maybe write some bizarre message that I'll then read like four hours later on the Discord and be like, what the hell was I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and then go back to bed. <laughs> yeah. I love I love that early morning haze uh text like patter because you have no idea what you've written until yeah. you wake up and read it for the first time again yeah <laughs> you're like everyone's sort of waking up at the same time and everyone's misreading the card yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this card is, is going to be so broken yeah. yeah and then they go oh actually uh. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. But, uh, yeah so it's been it's been really cool at this moment um i i, I would say that it's probably fair to we haven't seen much of the Icelander stuff because that's probably going to come around a little bit later on by the time this comes out. 
So I don't want to comment too much about what Iceland is going to be, and I don't think it'll be even be appropriate to even speculate on that. I think what we're going to roll with is it's the Saturday, Sunday, and a little bit of Monday spoilers, which is predominantly uh, Dramai and Fi. So it's predominantly just tons of dragons, isn't it? Like it's just dragons everywhere. I thought it was what, going what, to be three biggies. Dragons. I thought yeah. it was going to be three dragons and, you know, the little dragon that's her, like, bread and butter. Yeah. And it's just been... Ev- everyone gets a dragon. Yeah. Well, only her gets them. But they're from all over. You right? can have a dragon. And you can have a dragon. Yeah, dragon. Can have yeah. A dragon. That's, yeah, that's it. Oprah. Right, Oprah. <laughs> it's, it's mad. Um, it's like, I, I did not expect this level of variety in mm. what what that one... He- just one hero has access to all of these different summons, effectively. Six and iron. It's, Really cool. Like it, yeah. it, I feel like Jeremiah, like I, we, me and Hamish were chatting before the podcast and just saying the direction that you can take Jeremiah in just feels really open and interesting. Like depending on what dragon you want to, I mean, you can focus on all of the dragons, you can focus on some of them. It, it feels really cool and yeah. like really One exciting. Of the that actually came up on our Push the Point Patreon Discord today was from uh, Berem, James. And he was asking, do people think that the dragons are going to be like slow burn heralds, or do you think they'll be be more like current allies like Ursa um, that stick around for a bit long? Because they've not all obviously they've not all got six health, so they don't actually take that much to to destroy. But also they've got phantasm, right? I'm, yeah, I'm going to raise my hand. Do because, it because I've, 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 I think it's a mixture of the spectres and the and the phantasms okay. kind of put together do you know what i mean where you've got like the spectres are clearly making the board state but they don't pop when they hit or anything like that you've got to sort of deal with them but this this one is kind of like a bit of a bit of both right where you're making a board state but you're also running that attack and it could pop and how do you get that action back it's kind of it's kind of it's, it's 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 very illusionist very different which is Completely awesome, which is what we saw. And what do from we think Altic. about the it's Guardian, but it's not. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And what do we think about the ash mechanics as well? Because obviously you need a lot of ash production to get these dragons off the ground. Yeah, it seems like um it um, I, I, I don't want to get this wrong, but I believe it's if you it's if you pitch a card, yes. you create an ash as yes. and if you play a, a red card and it has to be a red card, so if you pitch a red card yeah you play a red card you give your dragons go again so Mm -hmm. that's really interesting to me because pitching red cards is something you generally don't want to be doing you want to be playing your red cards and pitching your blues but it does naturally like kind of feeds into dramai playing for the late game because obviously in the late game if you've got a bunch of red cards you're pretty happy right you know Mm -hmm. you're playing your strongest cards later on in the game when your opponents maybe played through a lot of their strong cards it's about how dramai can survive while pitching away her good cards yeah uh, and i guess she does that by playing dragons that you have to respect or does she try and because when it's all ash it's safe right you can't attack the ash no you can't you can actually attack touch it the dragon so if you build up a big store of ash and then like mass transform i don't know if that's how you can do that maybe you can then suddenly you're overwhelmed by dragons and you can't deal with them all, right? Mm. Like, that seems like a potential strategy. It just... I I think the ash is really interesting. It's really interesting, yeah. Well, have you ever... I don't think... Not many people thought of... (laughs) I know it's not a good thing, but every time you're using your arcane barrier, (laughs) you're making ash every time you're pitching. It's weird, because what's what's so strong about her ability is that it's it's like fist rise. You know, there's just no... There's no ceiling to this it Mm. is just do it if you just pitch the red it happens so in every moment you're trying to do a thing you're creating the material in defending and attacking it's it's yeah i i i I can't wrap my head around it but i feel like she there's a bit of viscera i know it's nothing like viscera but there's a bit of viscera about this where it's very cynic you've got to get this very synergistic thing going on here of everything you're doing is is recurring ash and that mm. has you have to have a big stock a, a stock of it and if you don't you're you're well you're 
I just don't think you're not going to work at all. So you've got to somehow just keep going. I've got all this resources of Ash available to me. And and then, and these dragons will just come round. It's pretty cool that dragons are making dragons. Like There's that one dragon that's one attack, six health. And at the start of your turn, you make a small one. You don't even do anything with him. He just sits there making small dragons. That to mm. me just shows that there's an engine. And there's another dragon that actually makes ash every time he attacks or he gets attacked. He makes yeah, ash. Yeah. Like they, these dragons are the engine. So it's, uh, it's very open. It's very open. I, I, it I does really, feel very open, yeah. I, it seems wild. So she's super exciting. Now, my passion, you can see my enthusiasm that. curved down. Give me that ninja. No, 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 no. Give me that ninja love. Oh, Come on. Okay. Uh, I, this ninja. Okay, I'm going to caveat here and first off say I think he is going to be cool. I think when you're seeing his stuff being played, it's going to be different enough. But everything I've seen from his stuff doesn't personally excite me too much because he's just doing things we've literally... It's like he's, he's just doing cool rules, if that makes sense. Like he goes, oh, chain link four, this happened. And it's like, yeah, I know. Make a big chain link. We've seen that. I know, I know. I know he's benefiting from doing it, but it's not new. Do you know what I mean? Making a no, long... but it's super wide. No, like what <laughs> don't not... you love about super wide boy Faye? Yep. Come on, yep. or Fi. We, we saw Chain go super wide. We've seen Katsu go super wide. We've seen Briar go super wide. You yeah, know, and guess just... what heroes I've played in the past. I know. Yeah. I, I'm just saying. I can see that he's all of the cool, wide. But I don't read the cards and go. Whoa, that's innovative. That's so innovative. I just go, oh, cool. Because you don't Another need it. Another attack be. that has go again. It's, it's, I know, it's, but it's not just go again. It's it's recursion from the graveyard. Like the card today, double strike. It allows you to banish it and play it again with go again. Like it's just it's just damage. It's like Kadachi's on steroids. It's like one here, one here, one here, one here. Like, like try and stop all of it. Do you see what? I'm, I think that's probably my point. It's just damage. Like when you look at Dramai's, it's not just damage. It's 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 building the it's building an engine, it's building a thing up. That's the thing that's kind of like you know that's why Viserai is pretty cool. That's why Chain maybe even get away with it because you're trying to yeah, but you're doing the same with Fire. It's just that you're doing it with the Phoenix Flames in the in the graveyard because you have to get them in the graveyard to be able to to return them to your hand, right? Yeah. So you you have to build the engine of how are you going to get these Phoenix Flames and um, what was the other one? It's Phoenix Flame, mate. Have you not read Phoenix every flame. bloody card? <laughs> it literally tells you the if you do this, the Phoenix Flame will come out your ass. If you do this, you can pull a Phoenix Flame out of your hat. Did you know Phoenix Flame? I was like, did really? Is there a Phoenix Flame? Yeah, let me tell you about Phoenix Flame. Oh my I God. think there's a difference between what you're describing, Hamish. Like with with Dramai, the cards themselves are interesting and mm. they have interesting yeah. effects. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's my point. Um, that's with, all there with, is. With Fi, it's thematic. It's you can imagine sitting down and playing that deck, and you feel like you're playing as a ninja. And I it was the that. same with Katsu, right? It's like, the same with Katsu. The thematic nature of going wide and doing these combos. And imagining that he's put like years into this training to do these special, like well, I was actually going to say the combo. Words. I think the combo actually hit that on the head better, in my opinion, because it actually just went well. I do this, and it has to follow into this, and then follow into that. And I'm like, okay, cool. That's like combo, combo, combo. You can't do this without doing the other move. It's like a fighting game. You know, you can't mm. do the uppercut, spin, front flip, kick into nut buster. You can't just you can't you know what I mean? You got that that that's the combo move. But this one it just goes it doesn't really it's like button bashing. <laughs> you it's, know what I mean? You're button like, bashing this year. It doesn't combo just, combo. Yeah, it just it's, it doesn't matter how, just just do three and then that's work. It's just like okay. Just it's because the idea you. is that this character is being is is kind of fueled by this association with the Phoenix, right? And everything he does is drawing upon this Phoenix isn't reason, exclusively his, which is which is tied to him, and it's, it's not. He's uh, drawing upon. Can use the Phoenix. 
Yeah, but it uh, but, but uh, all I, of his cards are related to the, the Phoenix Flames. So it's clearly tied to him. That's what I'm saying is that he's he, drawing upon that and then using it to fuel his attack. So it has he, a thematic nature to it. Thematically, he is part of the Volkai, which are the the Phoenix group, why right? Can, they're, they're, so why can, em, their so emblem why is the Phoenix. Where is they're the, related? The, they're the brother and sister. Are they yeah, the Drakai and the Dramai. Uh, the Drakai like, and the yeah. Volkai are the opposites. One's the imperial elite and one of the uh, the the general workers and the phoenix represents the workers and the uprising and the dragons represent the imperial because dragons do that but having i don't know i get the the thematic nature of phi i get is that he's been oppressed for the la like for the whole of his life he's been oppressed and now it's built to like a a burning rage inside him and he's like when he's fighting he's letting off this like almost like a berserker mode if it was a barbarian it would be like berserk if it it, it, it feels like he's just drawing drawing on all of his reserves to like get this uh this phoenix off the ground yeah i think it's just i think it, i think it works and i think what you're saying here is about it just being damaged is like no, I'm being a bit like. I, 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 yeah, I know, I know what you're being, but like, it, it's it's a there's a there's quite a like the way Flesh and Blood plays is just fun to play. Like you, there's you can't get over like one of my favorite things in Flesh and Blood is moving your cards over to the left because you're going to play because oh, like, you're going to play now. another one. Oh, it's so good. That's sort of the most sad <laughs> thing in the game because you're okay, like, yeah, oh, yeah, you you like haven't that. even <laughs> seen what I'm going to be doing on this turn. You're, and it's you're... just like. Yeah, your three right. chain that, links. That, that is what I get with Fi. Is it? It's going to be you're going to be pushing it to the left. Yeah, <laughs> making as much space as you can because it's going to be crazy. Yeah, no, and I do, I, I, I do, I do like that. I do. That, that is and a, what that we is have, great feeling. what we have coming up tonight, um, by our good friends Dice Commando is a weapon. Ninja weapon reveal, I think. Yeah. Well, this again, or, this, a this, or a draconic weapon. We haven't got to this stage yet, and I think by the time this comes out, we'll be speculating. <laughs> it will people will know in like literally minutes after we've finished recording. <laughs> so it, it's going to. I imagine when it, when we see it, it's going to be cool. By the time this is out, we're going to see a much more fleshed out version of this. I do think the specialization being Fies and um, yeah, yeah more, that's pretty cool. Is, there are two of them, cool. aren't there now? But I, it does make me just I don't know. Like it's it was really cool, but it tells me something like there's 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 definitely a tie in between these two of like it'd be really wild if they're just like completely unrelated people that can share mm. the same card, if that makes sense. But, Long lost brother and sister. Like uh, Luke and Leia, right? One's in the nobility and well, one there's a is there's a the, line on the... uh, Dramai's new hero page under her young art which says that she's playing go with her sibling and her sibling looks a lot like a young version of Fi. So right. that's the it's where it comes from is the speculation that they might be brother and sister. They've gone on divergent paths because if she's got this like superpower, she might have been taken in by the Imperial elite, even if she was from a lower social standing. And then there's the tension between them. Also there seems to be this like thing with the with the uprising where they, they're literally just burning everything, right? Like there's yeah. definitely an element of like Okay, um, is the, are these the good guys? <laughs> like they are literally just going around destroying everything. Are right? we the and bad guys? Yeah, and I it's like yeah, hmm, interesting. A, I I thought it was really cool. There was one bit of flavor text I read, and I think it could have been on the uprising card. It says even it said something to do with um, even the phoenix feathers soon turn yeah. to scales, and I was like, so it is literally again a cycle. It doesn't actually yeah. ever break. Where if the phoenix does rise up and actually take this out and becomes a new leader, they'll just end up being yeah, absolutely, yeah, just you know the the thing that they fought against, and there'll just be another phoenix to to come. Flesh and blood them. getting uh, very political, very uh, philosophical as well. Sixteen plus game, everyone. Yeah, get ready for some <laughs> big thoughts when you're just, smashing oh, people sorry, with have I, have phoenix I, have flames. I, have I just muscled into some um, no. find out library territory? <laughs> <laughs> before we before we move on from the spoilers because we've spoken about spoilers that have already come out and i think I, i've been very impressed with the releases we've had so far yeah but I, it I have. just as with as with every spoiler season every day you get new questions arising uprising and 
uprising oh, right. and my big question at the moment is you've got all of these draconic cards coming out with some illusionist some ninja but we have one ice hero that we know of coming oh we're and speculating yeah i yeah i'm speculating just the one ice hero but iceland has got to be powerful right to stand up against these two draconic heroes well yeah there's a lot they'd say about a lot of red cards so i imagine she would be pretty useful yeah like someone to just hey if you play red if you do red 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 and you're like yeah you know this is gonna suck for you right you know down on lake frigid in your face oh god that'll be awful imagine fine yeah it's, <laughs> just going. it's, it's an interesting one because it's like uh, i don't it's going to be so tricky for Fi to do what they what he wants to do with with Chant Lake yeah, Frigid. Redline aggro, right? Then you look at someone like Katsu, right? Like Katsu, actually, you know, like can kind of get by. Like if you've got a blue and you can just pay your taxes, right? Like and kind of do what you're doing anyway. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah. Like I'm really interested in how Fi players will build their deck. Like they're not just gonna ignore oh, that that's a thing. Like <laughs> then, then some of them will, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, aggro, yeah some of them will. You probably still do fine to be honest. But yeah. like you, you can definitely play around that kind of thing, right? Like mm. think about Icelanders, like I'm interested in Icelander how many frostbites that they can give you because you could you could lock uh so Channel Lake Frigid doesn't worry me. What worries me is heroes like Ice Lexi who can give you like Five, five. Yeah. and then you, you you could be in a position where you actually can't pay for anything you want to do because no, if you've got an all red and maybe a yellow like you, you can't do anything you, you're literally locked out of your turn and i think isolexia is another one that's going to be really interesting mm. in that matter mm. but i think we've had this conversation i've had this conversation with other people which is i think prism is going to gatekeep a lot of this these disruptive heroes out of the meta and that might allow Fi and Fi to be really strong. And then I think Prism will go. And then suddenly I think there will be this huge shift when Prism goes. Well, Oldham shows uh, up. Oldham's <laughs> coming on. in. OG Bravo's coming in with all that mm. great disruption, you know, like not being able to play, like Crush the Weak, uh, like things like that, not being able to increase the power of your cards. That's a uh, choke slam. All these cards are out there, guys. Like they, they are really strong. Yeah. And just waiting for Prism to stop getting their free wins off OG Bravo and Oldham. And suddenly those decks come right back into the meta and they can probably feed off uh, some of these. Look, we've also, we're, we're all there. You know, fine well that every set that they release, they also put out some pretty spicy generics that just go, yeah. what, like, like, mint, like, you know, Belittle. <laughs> Belittle has just been a monster, you know. Uh, Rouse the Ancients has been another one. Uh, CNC and E Strike, you know, these cards come around and they really just turbocharge up an old hero in a way that many people just don't give credit until someone is created enough to to just to, to, to see this and and try it into the deck. So who knows what generics is, could even like give a hit like an old brute maybe. Who knows? Just. And the other, the other thing is, we've been seeing these, um, James James White was saying these talismans that they release in Eberfest to keep an eye on them, right? And we've got like yeah. this talisman of, or whatever it is, of cremation. cremation. Yeah. yeah. Kill a card in the graveyard. You got, if all you've got copies two. copies of that name. Yeah, if you've got all three copies of whatever Phoenix it is. Flame. Phoenix, I keep calling it Phoenix Force. <laughs> Phoenix Flame in the It's Phoenix graveyard. Flame Trip. They've said it a hundred times. Because <laughs> yeah. it obviously. Uh, Fi can recur one of those, but if it's on his turn, he has to pay. Oh, sorry, if it's on your opponent's turn, he has to pay three for it. There's no way that I know to discount that no. down to any less than three. And you can only do once per turn, so you're going to lose two of them if you've got all yeah. three in the grave. Like, is there more than just reds? Bad. Is it like it is? Is there yellows and blues? Or, as know? far as we know, there's only reds. Um, okay. I think if you could run nine copies, it would get very silly very quickly. But maybe it wouldn't. Maybe it wouldn't, because you can only bring one back a turn. Well, we don't know. There's so many yeah. cards left to come. Absolutely. We have no idea what the weapon does. We have no idea what half the cards do, but it's very exciting. And looking at old cards and how they work will be very interesting. Yeah, this is this is turning out to be, as per usual, a very exciting set that's going to do some very exciting things. And two Living Legends as well on their way out. The yeah. The game couldn't even, you couldn't, be in a more um exciting space to the Bruin decks for this game. So and Road to Nationals is on its way just in time. So Oh can't wait. I know. 
Should can we talk a bit about Road to Nationals or we, yeah, are, we yeah. are we done with the uprising? Uh, anything else you want to say, Simon? Not right. I was just going to say I am really looking forward to getting back to a new draft set, and I think yeah. having had the same draft set out now for quite a while, a lot of people are going to be clamouring for this set just to draft. If anything, just to draft. Hundred percent. Um, one more question before we switch over, like very quick one. Yeah, no, I was going to say some of the uh, patrons are throwing us a question. I think they're all tied around a little bit around uprising. So if we just get through them and then we'll move on to um, the road yeah. to national stuff. I can't. My question was going to be: Do we think that the dragons will just draw people in, like that never seen the game before? Do we think the fact that dragons are now involved will get more people playing the game? Yeah, because they're badass. Yeah, they are really cool. I, think I 100% so. think so. You look yeah. at those cards, they're incredible. Some of the art on these dragons are just astounding. And the Marvel rarity oh, um, is, a... is fantastic. Yeah. And just from a practical point of view, if you're a new player and you go to a draft and you open one of these Marvel oh. rarity dragons, that's probably paid for your deck. <laughs> so <laughs> well done. Well, I hope, you it's hope like the so. old days you hope so. where you would open like, well, it still is kind of, you'd open like a heart or something as a new player and you'd sell it. I mean, I remember you, you Simon. Didn't you trade a heart for two legendaries or something early on? Oh, uh, early, game? very, very early on, I traded a heart for two legendaries and three e strikes and a command and conquer. Like, it was, yeah, it was there you go. Well. Like, it's it's a way into the game for a new player, and that to me is great. There's a way to to just profit and invest that back in the game in a in a playable deck. So that's fantastic. Yeah, especially if you pull one of those three legendary ones. Oh my god, you'll be ching. That do, is it to, Tom Tom of whatever the one the one with the loud burst time. Is, yeah that one um if you got it and I don't hit me up I don't even care I would just want <laughs> I, I want that card so oh, yeah, this Asvo like one this like ice glass dragon yeah, that one looks oh, awesome. yeah. incredible in cold foil like it's the Steve the whole center of the chest the yeah. Federico, Federico Musetti one and is that deaf looking one as well the one that just looks like a corpse yeah, and then creepy. and Matthews is done um the, yeah we did the, the, the artist we did the interview for he did in the one Sarakai, yeah the I one that flying loads up flying out of the mountain that yeah, looks so did, cool he did tell me when we did the interview as well because he said i don't i can't tell you what's coming but he said one of my but he did say in the interview one of my most favorite artworks in uprising um is coming because i did say is there what, what's one of your favorite ones and he said it's not been shown yet and I was like, oh, okay, cool. I didn't really, and then when I just saw his name yeah. on that, I was like, oh my God, you did that dragon. And he was like, oh, has it been spoiled? It's like, yeah. And then he <laughs> didn't even know what it was. And he went, oh my God, this is actually good. I love the fact that my artwork <laughs> is actually showing yeah. up on a pretty powerful card. So it must be just yeah. awesome. It's awesome for him to actually think, to, is, is my art on a good card? <laughs> and yeah. It, and it, and I think really it was. Cool. It's actually quite strong. So yeah, it's one of those ones which is like, it it don't if it hits you you're taking a ton. Of damage oh, yeah, dead. you can't get hit by that thing at all. Yeah, um, nine. Is that so, Simon? <laughs> if you or trip, I I can't. Yeah, yeah. I no, can't bust so we open, had um. I can't bust open other, the other move Discord, otherwise we freeze on OPS. So we had a question from uh, Jack. Are we all still on the fire train? Uh, I think I've answered that one. Hamish, you have jumped oh, no. off the fire train. I was never on it. Uh, um yes you were no 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 i wasn't uh, maybe i was a little because i was like mm, he's been spoiled on my birthday his the best thing about him is his 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 actual hero art is the one of the coolest heroes yeah. in the game like no 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 questions there but once i started getting pummeled with phoenix flame written on every single card i was like um yeah you're <laughs> I'm, done i'm all right <laughs> Oh, and then I saw more dragons. That's why I was like, what? More fucking dragons? Okay, so, yeah, I'm not on that train. What about you, Trip? Yeah, I'm I'm probably on fire. Like, I, I'm seriously considering uh, Katsu. I just think that the new... Some of the new cards, some of the new ninja cards, like, uh, are really interesting. Like, the new... Uh, what is it? Double strike? Or yeah, double you, hit you one? play I, Banish I, Play. Yeah, like, I think that's kind of cool. And, and I, I think that Katsu can play some of the like fire hate tools quite efficiently like 
yeah the cremations of blue zero cost great <laughs> just what you want right like it's, yeah. it's not, Any not too much of an opportunity cost taking that and you can play from the banish zones. I think yeah. that's really interesting. And you can kind of control when you play from the banish zone, which is kind of important for cremation because it's uh, it just happens when you play. You don't get to choose, so you have to be able to do it at the right time. But uh, I, I I will play Fi. Like I'll give Fi a go. Uh, you might as well if you're throwing in on Ninja. It, it, I, it, a lot of it will depend on what I open. I'm yeah. tempted with Icelander. I think you know oh, if I was going to say I mean... like which deck do I think long term is the best one to oh. learn it's definitely icelander i think that the potential of the deck is huge yeah um, i'm with you on but, that one yeah it's tough i think i think katsu um is worth revisiting uh but that's the I other think... question is what original hero do you think will have uh their stock increased by this set that was from uh dyson it yeah, was. Katsu. I think. I think. Uh, I think OG Bravo will will make a, a triumphant return to the meta when Prism uh, is taken out of the meta, which I imagine will happen relatively quickly. We haven't I seen think... any Prism. We haven't seen currently, as it stands, any standard illusion cards either. It's been no, very but much... they are in there, aren't they? Yeah. They will be in there. So, like, she will get a maybe a potential small power up as well. Maybe some. Uh, yeah. You know. Maybe some cards that actually deal with aggro, which will make Prism more obscene. <laughs> so I don't really know how OG Bravo will do into Dramai. Like, obviously, if they go really wide with lots of tiny dragons, you're pretty yeah. sad. But if they play the big dragons, you're not too... You know, you can kill them with yeah. a hammer kind of thing. But it is it's it's interesting. A, it's a very phantasm-based deck, though. Yeah, that's over, really right. over Because it's, with the Spectres, Spectres, you, you know, you, you, you have to pop them. They don't... They don't break, they just constantly deal damage. But um, at the same time, Dramai doesn't have stuff that actually goes away, like the Spectral Shields where she lays them all up and then you just go, well, yeah. I'll dominate to you, clear these Spectral Shields out. It's literally like, no, they're all, they're all here. You have to physically deal with every single one of them. And But at the same time, it's like Spectral Shields don't have... <laughs> Them, do they like it no, you know yeah, yeah exactly in your prism and you've got five auras and five spectral shields you're taking 10 damage but with dramai she attacks with a dragon and you you pop, pop it, it and it's like yeah. oh that's my yeah, turn because yeah. footsteps that's doesn't fun. work on allies so it's uh if there's a piece of like equipment it's easier for bravo but the, it's it's about that isn't it it's like it's, if 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 dramai gets access which I, I kind of hope that she doesn't i kind of hope that actually that is her yeah she would that be a bit the, too good that if she is had the something default, to... is that she can't if you if you you know you could play stuff like time snap potions and things like that but like maybe that's what you gotta do when yeah. the, who cares like that's that that would be a thing you know to try and keep the chain going but like it would be very, who knows yeah who knows who knows it would be very wild to see a class one hero, one particular hero of a class doing very well into a whole guardian class, and then the same hero from the same class just doesn't do very well of it. I mean, it'll be very interesting, but very weird approach. Maybe it'd be pretty cool if you actually had Prism, because hey, we're very good into guardian and five for some reason. It's just super good into aggro, and you're like, oh god, which which illusionist is the right one for the map? Mm. We've know, already we've already seen the power of an ally on a hero that can strip your whole hand, right? Because that's what Chain does in the control matchup, right? Yeah. He strips your whole hand, then he plays a Sir. You can't kill a Sir because you've got no cards to kill it with. And then he does it again. And that's that's the real risk of the allies, is not being able to hit back and kill the ally. Mm. But in with Dramai, she has the six power card. I, I by the way, I realized that we've gone completely off topic. Oh, uh, wow. but, but she's got the, the the weakness where you can stop it with just one card and then you can hit back with three cards, right? Like it, yes. you don't have that issue. So Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 so exciting. Um, we just want to talk about it clearly. Like we're just like <laughs> any opportunity to like to get into you, it. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll try and stick on and, the, uh, and the world premiere is next weekend and uh I won't be there because I'll be at Download Festival. But oh, either I'll be in Amsterdam. When did you become so, cool? Uh, yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm going on holiday with some friends, which will be really nice. With some non-fab friends. So be... I, I actually said that I couldn't go because I don't have a passport. And then I said, all of a sudden, a passport rocks up into my oh. hands. I know. I have actually it showed up and I was like, oh, Christ. I was... Are you going? No. 
I, 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 I sat there and I was like, I, you know, there's a little bit of me that makes me just go, could I just go for the Friday? Can I just do the Friday? Just go Day trip to Madrid. I just fly on a Thursday. Yeah. Do the thing and go home. I think okay. that's what a lot. Well, you know, a lot of people want to go just to see the cards, right? It'd be crazy to open new cards for the first time because I, I mean, some people are opening boxes. Uh, got a turmoil now. on his face now. He's like, should I? Oh, could, could, could do. I, I mean, I, I mean, I, no, I, Christ, Jesus! I'll be. I'll have to look now because I'll have to get on a flight in three days and could just I turn think, up at I the think, airport. I think, I think Faye happened. is literally just twitching in the background. Going, what do you mean? I thought we said you, you said no. You said no. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, every time there's something out, then you hear more things coming out. Right? So I think that's a good segue into more events. You know, yeah, Rota Nationals and and the calling Utrecht has now arrived on our our doorstep. Our and, yeah, it's like again, it's like oh, you know, it's it's the whole thing of just managing your calendar and your scheduling and everything. Um, I'm putting my uh, like right, nationals to me is one of the most important events I think I want to attend to, like just below worlds. But like worlds is is, is something that I was I luckily achieve, managed to achieve on 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 the last nationals. That's what made that potential potentially happen. I think nationals is really 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 important to attend to because that's that is to me the thing that really kick-started all of us getting up meeting together into that big yeah. that big event this is the crew this is the group this is the scene this is you know all of that um it was just for us as the uk it was a massive celebration of how um much we suck on stream so we don't want to disappoint uh, <laughs> I mean, at nationals is the one event uh that i always want to qualify for yeah year. that's I mean, me Without a doubt, I don't care about. Pro Tools. The, I mean, Pro Tools are great. I've got very lucky that I've been able to. Yeah. That I got be able to work my way into the first Pro Tour. I'll hopefully, get to go to the second. I still go to the calling if I don't. But nationals, I want to go to yeah. every year. That is because yeah. you're you with your, your. You know, it's yeah. but it's everyone from your. Like we obviously have an international community in Fab, but fundamentally, it's you're seeing people playing fab in the uk and it's it's fun and it, it just it just feel it felt it was such a good weekend last year push the point live okay hopefully <laughs> that we <laughs> would love cool. to do that that would be amazing and i was saying this to um on the discord a couple of days ago nationals to me feels like what if you're a semi if you're a casual competitive player sorry nationals i think is like your yeah, end goal right? like, mm. that's what you want to work towards you know not the pro tour not the not the not worlds, mm -hmm. not anything like that. Is the idea you go to your local armory, you go to your skirmishes, you go to your road to nationals, and then you try and get to go to nationals, and that yeah. that is a success. And I hope people who are aiming for that see it that way. That if you can get to go to nationals, that is a success. And I, I yeah. it's it's so good, and it's such a celebration of the UK community. And I think we yeah. have a incredibly strong community in the uk mm -hmm. of this game we, we see it on the stats the number of people at the pro tour number of people playing the game regular basis number of people coming to armories and nationals is a celebration of that so yeah, i'm very cool. very excited and i'm very incredibly excited. happy that I, uh, you could potentially qualify for nationals based entirely on draft which i think yes. is really oh. cool <laughs> wow. and it's also i love the fact it's top four again i was like yeah, yes. oh, yeah. it's not this winner only right. but thing anymore it is like the top four and now we can actually all go run around and maybe now that we've all realized that we can actually concede Right, and do people affect? We're, we're all comfortable with this think now. Last year, we yeah, we were like, never no. went across the invites. I won that. ten invites. I was like, yeah. well, that's not going to help me. Your problem. I don't know yeah. if we can concede. Now we're all getting used to going. Yeah, we can concede because I can imagine there'll be a lot of people getting to the top eight and go. I'm yeah, already in. I'm, I'm still you, not Simon. on board with this whole conceding thing. <laughs> no, Simon, might. I'll be at like, Simon. You're in. Simon, you're in. Oh, Please, right, you're, yeah. it's me and you in the top eight. Just, just concede. You're like. You gotta work your way in PTI. I think it's boy. worth saying as well that the, <laughs> the prizes for first place are not quite as incredible as they were for nationals last year, which is fine. Like, it's fine. but I can see the reason why you wouldn't last year because you could you get an extended art 
tunic for coming first right and like oh. come on that, that's pretty good like you're gonna aim for that um uh, and also you got the top four map which was um which was and still is worth a little bit of money so that there's something to consider is, so what's you know. in the, is, have you, is the prize has been shown off is that so it's a cold foil icelander for first uh cold oh, really? foil fly or dramai for second third and fourth oh, and then the new one the not the not the not the, the new one. one all right thank I, god i thought there yeah, was coming adult, out adult, adult, adult hero adult, adult hero. new one but right. i think apart from that i'm not sure if there's a play mat or anything else um but it's just an invite but you get the special icelander if you come first so not a huge difference to be honest yeah i think it's fine um I think they, they they have massively this rolled back a bit yeah this is fine um they have roll back on their prizes a little bit um i can imagine some people will be shaking their fists but not not us right i i, I they've also don't expanded the number of events right What's so that? they've got to cover they've also expanded the number of events sure. so they've got to cover more mm. no that's cool the yeah, they, they, that, that's the reason it's because it's last year they were running like um uh can't say i can't remember did we get um, but like, last time showing up christ Did maybe not up? if we don't remember oh it was cold for herald uh cold foils uh auras yes oh it yeah was. But it's for retribution because yeah. we were joking about how yeah, we yeah. didn't get any because we kept off 18 do you remember yes oh, quite yeah <laughs> oh yeah and i remember yeah. saying i got, <laughs> I got I one no i got two i got two in the end i got uh, one Every other event we top eight. Back when we were good, uh, we still are. Some of us are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, oh yeah. So yeah, maybe there'll be more. I don't know. Like we'll, we, we don't. Have, I don't have the article up, but it, the, the prizes seem fine. And to be honest, if I can go and draft for a day, uh, that that's a. I, I would just do that for fun, right? Like if if so and so was saying, oh, we're doing a, we're doing three drafts. Um, I'd be there, right? Like to, to just take part in the event. So the fact that I can do that and also have the chance of qualifying is is really good. So I'm really happy about that. And draft is such an important skill for nationals because Absolutely. the draft take the drafts uh, the two drafts take place at key moments for making day two and also for making top eight. And if you can't draft, you're not going to make top eight. That's just that's it, right? Like day two, it's a draft into top eight. So if you can't draft, you're not going to make top eight. You're done. So. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks like draft for Uprising could be relatively interesting and semi-complicated yeah. because oh, you need like... to know how to play Illusionist, Wizard, and Ninja, which are three kind of different classes, Very right? Different like, classes. <laughs> you, I yeah. think I, you, you see a lot of people hard, like hard picking fine. <laughs> but yeah, but they, yeah you will. Another, like that's what you want to play off, right? Oh, here's another thing. Very weird for the draft. The dragons are flip sided. Hmm. So you can yeah, see you them know, go. Only the Marvels, yeah. only the Marvel ones are flip sided, are right? They? I'm not sure if that's. No, the I case, don't think that's actually. the case. I think they are all flip sided cards. I assume. Maybe maybe it's a bit of a waste of time to say, but if they are, it would definitely make the draft really wild. But it would be weird if you could get the incantation mm. of a dragon, but no dragon. Yeah, like, that'll be, yeah that would be pretty be, stupid. Decided, right? Yeah, so then you'll see the dragons get. You can actually see the people no, picking scary. the dragons. No, but wait, are they commons or tokens? Uh, some of them common are common ones. Uh, some of them are rares, I think. Yeah. So they oh, got the, okay. got the, the, the the majestic ones are the biggie dragons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then ah, the, the smaller ones are rares. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, I can't wait. I think we'll wrap up. We'll wrap up that. By. So we'll, no, then you'll just see all dragons being passed around for the entire we'll time. Um, <laughs> and, and Hamish, how are you getting on with that uh, giveaway button? Uh, yeah, um, could you, because because I'm so worried about my disc. Every time I move away from Discord, my OBS freezes. Could you okay. be able to se- just copy and paste all the names on the list and send it to me on Facebook and then I can copy and paste it. It's oh, a geez. bit of a juggling act. But if I move away from this Discord, my OBS, <laughs> like we freeze no on OBS. Like Guys, I've got a, a crazy idea. Go for it. We could, we could post on the Discord yeah. with an at here and the first person to reply <gasps> gets the Oh. No, that's... Oh. No. <laughs> is, that, is that fair? I I'm not sure because... Do you think That's, it's a time zone differences? It's not there very is, fair. No, there is, there is a bit. Mm, 
I don't Hang know, on, maybe, no, maybe, no, maybe. I don't know, because I think there's, there's, it's going to be really, you know that some of our, we're going to lose patrons doing that, like straight up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we we're going to we're gonna be straight up people going, I don't use Patreon that much. I've got it just for this, and there's no way I check it. In fact, I <laughs> muted no your, your Patreon. Because it was too loud because you kept posting it. <laughs> yeah. So okay, imagine, yeah. Uh, but, but, maybe I will in the say, future. no, but I will say to everyone that is a patron, it's not going to be for these mats, so don't panic. But I love Trip's idea so much, I will do it one time. I'll find something I don't care about, and I'm just going to go first person at at gets this. And I think you guys should do it too, because you know, yeah, it should we'll always just, just be right. random spot giveaways. Random yeah. spot giveaways. It's, it's, it's the I've had too much to drink, and I'm doing Give a giveaway. <laughs> All right, Simon, have you sent that list over? No, I can't do it. I'm struggling. What do you mean you can't do it? You've literally got uh, a thing full of the names. Just got to copy and paste uh, it over. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not logged into Facebook right now, and uh, it's just... What do you mean you're not logged today? in? Surely you just click on the web browser and Facebook shows up. Is that not what you do? That's what I do. Um, we don't, a lot of us don't use Facebook every day anymore. Like, right, well, so while I'm Simon's grabbing this list. Really? I use Facebook. I don't yeah, know. I know you use it. Right. Well, while well, Simon is... Up. Yeah, while, um, while Simon is grabbing the names that I can copy and paste into the wheel, I'm going to go and show off the map we're going to give away. So, ooh, is it this one? Never be that one. When <laughs> it will be that one. Yes, it will. That is the eclipse map for everyone listening Ooh, at home. Is it? Is it this? To be fair, that celestial cataclysm map is pretty nice. I don't. I, I don't own the celestial cataclysm. Oh, map. I do. I'll trade you it for that eclipse map. I don't. No, yeah, definitely. I, I, <laughs> yeah, you trade. I did, what did I trade you for that? Didn't I give you a cold uh, foil? Cold foil halo. I gave you a cold full halo. Was it halo? Illumination, yes. And I think I had to give you some money. I think I had to give you cold full halo and some first edition uh, spectras for it. And I did sort of think, I feel like, I mean, I didn't give a crap because I didn't even like any of this. But I did think I gave you a good deal. Anyway. That was back in the glory days of play mats where they used to go for it. With you now, sir. Doomsday is a pretty nice map. I think Doomsday is the most Warhammer map I've ever seen. Yeah. Goals for the skull. Goals. Goals for the skull. Blood for the blood card. That, that one's for you, Dale. Goals for My, the skull. Our best, our best fan that doesn't play the game goes to Dale Small because he generally actually helps out quite a lot. In this we love you, Dale. That you guys will never know. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he brings along interesting beer for the topic. Yeah, right, right, and he's also given me lots of handy tips for. All. Okay, Simon, you have sent over this name. So I, I have am... sent over the list. Um, we, so have so list. we have a list. Have a list. We are ready to Move roll. On. Yeah, I'm waiting for my Facebook to stop being rubbish. Oh, come on, Mister Facebook. Don't be so slow. And Dan's trip, his name is always there, and I always feel like never copying it in. Oh, I am a pa- I am a patron. He says this fine every offer. single time. I my, is my money not as good as everybody else's money? It comes oh. out of my bank account. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move this over. I hope this works. I will obviously in... tell you to re-roll if it lands on me, but I would just like to know that it landed on me before I tell you to re-roll. <laughs> okay, we've got all the names. Thank you so much, everyone who has is a patron. This one is going out to the Doomsday. Well, this is the Doomsday map. It's going out to the Doomsday Massive. Is, yeah. <laughs> Let's roll that roll. Roll it. <laughs> I've got that bang on time. <laughs> and it goes to James Armstrong. Hey! hey! It was actually that, yeah. so close to going on new trip. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well done. Well done, well done James. Trip, you actually right, like that. That was, well, that was well on time for. Yeah. <laughs> Let's spin that wheel! Let's spin that wheel! Well done, James. Okay, cool. Well done, James. Um, well, I think. Guys, I've had a fantastic time. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's been a pleasure, as always, guys. Um, 
We are almost at episode 30, so uh, please subscribe to the podcast to get the latest updates. Well, subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Spotify, or if you really want to support us, become a Patreon. And we're pretty excited to have almost delivered you 30 episodes of Push the Point, which is pretty yes. massive. Yes. 30 episodes, that is mad when you think about it. But episode 30, very much the Uprising actually comes out as well, which would be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. and we, you know... Um, if you've enjoyed the conversations from the, the questions, sorry, from the audience, if you have any of your own questions, feel free to put them on the YouTube video and mm-hmm. we'll try and uh, cover them in the next episode. As we'll know a few more things about the cards as well. So it'll be good. Cool. All right. Sweet, everyone. Bye. Bye. Later.